Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Wendy. I hope everyone's having a wonderful and great day in our mighty King Yeshua HaMashiach. Praise God. Praise our wonderful, glorious, mighty, and merciful God for hearing our prayers. Because I received um, an update about Sister Barbara and that she's remembering she's awake and that she's remembering things praise God we'll still continue to pray for a complete healing because uh, I don't think she can move her arm or her leg so we'll continue to pray for her that we serve a mighty and awesome God praise you Father I praise your holy and mighty name in King Yeshua's name Amen and Amen. Today, I will be reading um, Revelation 20, I believe it's 11 through 16. Yeah, Revelation 20, 11 through 15, and also Exodus 32, 7 through 14. So here I go. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, and whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now I'll be reading Exodus. Exodus 32. 7 through 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down, for thy people, which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. And Moses besought the Lord his God, and said, Lord, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power and with a mighty hand wherefore should the Egyptians speak and say for mischief did he bring them out to slay them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth turn from thy fierce wrath and repent, and repent of this evil against thy people remember Abraham, Isaac and Israel thy servants to whom thou swearest by thine own self and said unto them I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed and they shall inherit it forever and the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people let us pray thy marvelous God our Holy Father thank you for hearing our prayers for Sister Barbara thank you for letting her be in her right mind as she woke up thank you for giving her remembrance of things Father we still can pray for a complete healing that she will be able to move her arm and her leg as well complete healing in your precious son's name King Yeshua 
Thank you for your tender mercies every day, Father. Thank you for being our God. I love you so much, and I thank you for the very breath that you give me every day. I thank you for loving me from the foundations of the earth. I thank you for providing for me for all your gifts, every perfect and good gift comes down from the Father of Light. In Him is no shadow of turning and no variableness. I love you so much, Father. Thank you for your precious and glorious Son, the glorious Son of the Father, King Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you for your mighty Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, that you give to us as your promise to lead us and guide us and comfort us and convict us. Thank you, Father, for everything. And King Yeshua's precious and holy, mighty and gracious name. Amen and amen. I received this word on 17 October 2015 at 1 o'clock p.m. My dearest daughter, Wendy, write down your beloved Savior's words for my beautiful children to take in. My lovely children of mine, your mighty Savior is giving you another lesson today, straight from God Almighty. My preachers or leaders most have went their own way and do not hearken to my voice any longer. Therefore, I am telling you, my love, my truth. It has been said that God does not change his mind, but I tell you the truth. Did not I listen to Moses as he interceded on the children of Israel's behalf? Children, do not get this confused with God does not change. I will never change my character, my love, my mercy, my grace. I am your all in all. I am your future no matter if you believe in me or not. You will be confronted by me, and by my very word, you will be judged. It will not be pleasant that great day when all the books will be open. Every person who did not accept me, King Yeshua, will be judged at the great white throne judgment day. Afterwards will they be cast into fire and brimstone, where their worm dieth not. This is not a future that I want for anybody, but I know all of my children's futures and destinies. Yes, I know who will not ever repent to me with a full surrender. This breaks my heart. You will see my great disappointment that day, and you will be weeping and begging me for mercy when I have been offering my mercy to you all of your life on earth. My beautiful children, I am continuing my pleading with my creation. You do not want to be at the judgment. You do not. With me, you will have such immense joy and peace, not just on earth, but in my heavenly, for I will always take care of my holy children. I have spoken so many promises in my word. Go find them, my love. It will be the greatest hunt for treasure you have ever done. It is late 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 and soon no man will be able to work i want to see all of my children in my ark much love much pleading your mighty and great king of kings and lord of lords